Hello and welcome to KISS Gymnasium's Native Speaker Boccaccio Project, where we tell stories in this time of quarantine. Please look for a news story each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. My name is Lori Renna Linton, and this is a story from a student in 5B. It is called Persona Non Grata. The day hadn't started out well. In fact, it had been terrible. Firstly, the milk carton was empty. Secondly, someone had taken my electric toothbrush off the charger and now it had no battery left. I had an inkling as to who it might be, but I'm sure my sister would deny any of my accusations. Typical younger siblings. Thirdly, the power was out. As if being confined to your house wasn't enough, now I wouldn't be able to use my phone once it was out of battery. All in all, it was fair to say I hated the coronavirus. No phone, no socializing, no leaving the house. We were truly being pushed to our limits. Mommy, I'm bored, Claire asked, whining. Then clean the windows, Mom retorted while busying herself with folding the clean clothes. And Melanie, why don't you hoover the floor? That's my name. Oh no, I had to get out of here. I quickly said the first excuse that came to mind. I can't because I'm going to go cycling. See ya. And I was off, off away from my responsibilities. Next thing I knew, I was on my bike and cycling in direction of Greifenstein, a village not too far from where I lived. However, as I came close to the border to the district of Greifenstein, I spotted a black jeep blocking the road. Two men in suits were leaning lazily against the front of the car. Once they noticed me, one of the men stopped me in my tracks. To be more specific, he pointed a gun at me. Hands in the air or I'll shoot, the man ordered sternly. I quickly did as he said, my new motto being, you better not disobey a man with a gun. Suddenly the guy laughed giddily, like a 12 year old who had received a present. This is so cool. I'm like one of those police officers in those movies humans watch. Then the second man spoke up. Didn't you hear the news? You can't get infected or else the humans will come after you. This was directed at me. Why did they say humans like they were something else entirely? And why would people come after me if I got infected? Did he mean that an ambulance would come to bring me to hospital? If so, it was a very strange way to phrase it. She's one of us, Gary asked. Of course she is. See those earrings? Those are original rocks from Waha. Very rare, but distinctive. I had obviously looked confused to them because the second guy covered his face with his hands. For Yaha's sake, please don't tell me your parents haven't told you you're a Yawaha. I was starting to think these guys were crazy. I thought about walking off, but then I remembered the gun. Please leave me alone, I pleaded with them. My mom and dad will be wondering where I am. I have a GPS tag on my phone. They will be here any second. They ignored my comment entirely and proceeded to say, all you have to know is that your parents migrated here 40 years ago from Waha and that the virus that you call COVID-19 is in fact a virus unleashed by human scientists to detect our kind, our kind amongst the humans. I was torn between believing them or not. On the one hand, it was all too crazy to be true. On the other hand, they were quite serious about it and it couldn't possibly be a trick because why would anyone go to so much trouble as to convince me of alien existence? So what are you going to do about it? I asked. The ghouls, the Yuwaha police, are ordering everybody to stay in their houses until they evacuate everybody via spaceship, the second man explained. I nodded as if everything made sense to me. So I go home now, I asked, unsure of what to do next. Yes. The spaceship will pick up everybody in a day. Hang in until then and don't leave the house, the second man ordered. Slightly dazed, I mounted my bike and waved goodbye to them. My parents had some serious explaining to do. That is the end of the story. Um, thank you very much to the student who submitted it. Please subscribe down below and we'll see you on Monday. Okay, bye.